there's a lot to love about Els Angels. It's virtually traffic-free. More than three cars on the climb and you're unlucky. It's the most accessible climb from Girona. From the city, the foot of Els Angels is well under 10 minutes. With a vertical gain of 340 metres and length a shade over 10 kilometres, Els Angels is actually two short climbs separated by a flat section with a few lumps that can be powered over to carry speed. Whilst the views are not spectacular, at least until you get to the very top, it's a really pleasant climb through the forest, which makes it shady. Velo Viewer shows the first third at a little over 4k, at an average of just about 5%, with a few little kicks up to 8 and 10. Quick reminder, a subscribe or a like really helps the channel. Thanks! The first landmark is Can Mascot, the white building on the apex of a hairpin, a little under halfway up the first section here. There's another 2k or so through dappled sunlight, with the trees thinning a little to give views of the wooded slopes revealed as you gain elevation. The end of the first section is marked by the marvellous Campol, a family-run restaurant specialising in proper Catalan food, as well as fantastic homemade cake. I speak from experience. They're super friendly here, and the shaded terrace, with glorious views towards Celera and back to Girona, is a good alternative to refuelling in town if you're coming down Els Angels. Straight after Campol, the second section starts. Twisty and heavily wooded, Velo Viewer averages it at 1%, with descents as well as a couple of short, sharp power climbs. But you can keep speed high here, and that means full attention. In the mornings, the sun is directly ahead, making fast transitions between light and dappled shade frequent. With lots of turns, it's fun and fast. You'll notice all the way up Els Angels that many trees there, home oaks, have bark peeled. You may even see people collecting it in June, July and August. It's all for the cork industry, which is centred in nearby Casa de la Selva. Although plastic corks are in widespread use, you'll still find most bottles of Spanish wine using the natural product. The 8km sign marks the start of the final push for the top. Although Velo Viewer rates this at an average of just over 4%, that's not the full story. There are a few sections which are going to come up red on Garmin Climb Pro, and if you're going for a good time, this is where you can lose it. The white building marking the summit can still seem distant at this point, but a few more turns and a final effort quickly brings up the 10km sign. From here, it's one more curve and a couple of hundred metres and suddenly you've made it. The famous monument, always a welcome sight. Els Angels is rightly loved by Girona locals and visitors. It's a lovely climb. And the reward at the top? Well, judge for yourself. In the forecourt of the building where local lad Salvador Dali was married is a nice shady cafe. And a few steps away, views towards the coast and over the forest back to Girona. So what's a good time up Els Angels? The fastest look like this, but bear in mind the large pro rider contingent in Girona. More mid-pack mortals will be 40-ish minutes, maybe a shade quicker. And if you want to amble up, work on an hour or under. If you found this video entertaining or useful or informative or any of those, give it a like or a subscribe. What have you got to lose?